A cute youngster named Jenny was having fun with puppets that her father had made. Then she glimpses a small sparrow and she comes near the window to catch it. Now the scene turns to Jenny's father Jeff and her caretaker Samantha. Jenny's father was a comic artist. Samantha is heavily inspired by his comics and sketch characters. After this, Jenny is again seen who was peeping through the window. That sparrow comes all of a sudden and she falls. Her mother also comes there with Jeff and Samantha. Witnessing her forehead bleeding, they get so worried. Then her mother scolds Samantha, it is your fault. As a caretaker, it is your responsibility to take care of her. Jeff tries to calm her down, but replies, you are indulged in your job for the whole day. We have no benefit from you. You don't even earn money. In the next scene, she heads toward the hospital with Jenny. He asks her if he can accompany them but she forbids him. Because they had no understanding, they are separated. Both are worried to get custody of Jenny. Jenny's grandfather suggests that I do not want my granddaughter to be injured in this manner due to carelessness. He says, Jeff, you cannot take care of yourself. How will you take care of your daughter? Being grieved, Jeff asks his wife, why are you doing this to me? She replies, I know that you have affection for your daughter Jenny. But you are not ready to take care of her. You cannot care for her at all. After giving him some money, she asks him to keep it and restart his life. And also leave Jenny in her custody. But Jeff rejects her offer. When he returns to his house, he misses Jenny while watching her old videos. The next day, he waits for his wife, going into a restaurant with his daughter. Meanwhile, he receives the phone call from his wife, who says to him that, Listen, Jeff, you are showing foolishness. You should sign the agreement, through which everything will be alright and we all will be happy. But he doesn't respond to her. Jeff's college friend arrives there, who has inaugurated his company comics. He congratulates him but when his friend asks about his life. Then Jeff tells him everything, how many issues he is facing in his life. More importantly, he is unemployed. Because Jeff had been the best artist among them, Jeff's friend is extremely shocked to hear this. Then he receives his wife's call. Jeff knows through her that he has come to the wrong restaurant, it was another restaurant where his wife had called him. Then he also tells his wife about his college friend. And he is going to work with him now collaboratively. His friend corrects him that he is only assigning Jeff for the comic painting. Jeff's wife also hears all the conversation and says, I've heard the whole conversation. It is not easy to get a good job. She was walking on the road while taking with him but all of a sudden she faces a fatal accident. She died on the spot. Jeff says some words about his wife but at the same time, a candle drops there and Jeff's painting gets destroyed. Due to this, the drawn face of Jeff is severely spoiled. Meanwhile, Samantha quenches the fire with the help of a fire extinguisher. Jenny's grandfather met him and told him that, the car has not been recognized but the detective concluded that it was not an accident but a murder. In the next scene, Jeff goes before a room and a horrible puppet appears from there. It was the same puppet that Jeff had drawn in his sketchbook. It was about to attack him but he woke up. It indicated that it was just a nightmare. Then he encounters another puppet before him. Suddenly, he again wakes up and it was also his nightmare. The next day, Samantha comes to his house where he asks her to take care of his daughter. He reaches the company of his friend for the job. In the meantime, he also gets ready to perform his job as an inker. When he disclosed his position as an inker to Samantha, she replies, I did not like this job, you deserve better than this. Jeff explains to her that he can also do the painting job at home. It will be an advantage because he can take care of his daughter. When Jeff was working at night, he senses as if there is something mysterious around him. He also lost control over himself and drew a horrific painting in his diary. Frightened Jenny came to him, and says to him, there is someone in my room. When he moves there to detect, he glimpses no one. She asks her father, will you send me to my grandfather? Jeff refuses and says, not at all. The next day, Jeff shows the ghost painting to his colleague. His co-worker and his friend both are excited to see this. His friend promotes him to a comic artist. The scene cuts to Jenny who encounters the same puppet. As that puppet proceeds to her, she calls her father. Jeff reaches there and carries her into his room. Jenny says, I saw a ghost in my room last night, which was so horrific. Then Jeff says to her while explaining, your puppet friend also looks horrible. But you don't fear them because they are your friends. Then Jeff notices that Jenny has also drawn the same ghost painting. Jenny was calling herself baby again and again. In the office, he tells the entire story to his colleague and asks him, do you believe in ghosts? He replies, yes, I believe that ghost exists. At the same time, a girl reveals before him that an old man had come to ask about you. Jeff approaches him right away, and he has a sneaking suspicion that Jeff is the one who killed his daughter. He returns home and Samantha offers him an alcoholic drink while flirting with him. He forbids her to act which results in Samantha getting embarrassed as well as angry with him. When Jeff adjusts a camera in Jenny's room, he sees that the obscene puppet that Jenny had described as a ghost is still present. He moves to her room but finds no one. Meanwhile, 
small puppets were moving behind him. Then someone is witnessed in the room that had covered him with a shawl. But it was none other than Jenny. She asks Jeff, where is her mother? He replies, she is here and she is always with us. When he was leaving to office, he glimpses the same puppet on the bus which also tries to attack him. At home, Samantha reaches near the room of Jenny where she notices the voice of Jenny so she tries to enter. But the door is automatically closed and opened again. She comes out of the room. At the same time, Samantha also sees the same puppet and reveals everything to Jeff and also says, it may be her hallucination. After getting frightened, Jeff locks that room firmly. Sometimes later, Jenny asks him, were you going to give me to my mother? And take money instead of me. Jeff was confused because no one knew this except his wife and himself. The next day, Samantha presents the breakfast to her but as soon as she eats it, she was not able to breathe. Jeff saves her by injecting her. At that precise moment, the chandelier screw loosens and it falls on Samantha's head. She loses her senses and there was the same puppet behind it. Samantha had already called the police so the police approached there. Then police doubt if she is being victimized and tortured. So they attempt to talk with her. Later, it is discovered that the puppet is seen by Jenny and Jeff, is none other than Jenny's mother. She goes into Samantha's room and tries to kill her. As a result, she wakes up afraid. She tells the full story to Jeff and claims that his wife is trying to kill them after teasing them. But Jeff instructs her to go back to her home to have some rest. Jeff also sends his daughter with her grandfather. Then he tries to communicate with his wife through a ritual at night. His wife explains to him, how did she face an accident on that day? Then his wife appears as a puppet before him. Jeff warns her not to do anything wrong with their daughter. The next day, Jeff goes to his daughter and says to her grandfather, I know you loved your daughter. But I also love my daughter, don't take her from me. She has already lost her mother and I am not allowing her to live without any of her parents. Jenny's grandfather replies to him that the car has been discovered by the police. The driver will be discovered soon as well. He also says I will reach your house within one hour, taking Jenny with me. This means he is ready to give her granddaughter's custody to Jeff. Afterward, when Jeff reaches the office, he gets to know that he is going to shift to another state. Then his drawn ghost character, made for a comic book, is brought there. When Jeff's friend notices this, he informs him that I have somewhat altered the comic's ending. In which the ghost will return after being more powerful instead of dying. Due to this, Jeff is afraid and leaves the house to rescue his daughter. After calling her grandfather, he asks him to move out with Jenny from the house. Jenny's grandfather was about to tell Jeff about a message. But someone pushes him. When Jeff reaches home and witnesses the wounded grandfather, he calls Samantha. Meanwhile, the grandfather, who was semi-conscious, forbids Jeff from doing so. He shows the killer's identity received in the mail, and it was Samantha who had killed Jeff's wife. She explains while shouting, I was just helping you Jeff. It is revealed here that Samantha had also served Jenny the poisonous food. But her dead mother saved her. After this, Samantha moves to Jeff to attack him while lifting a piece of glass. Meanwhile, that puppet approaches there and stabs that piece of glass into Samantha's neck. She dies there painfully. That puppet also tries to attack Jeff later. But Jenny forbids him. Frightened Jenny sits near the window while crying. She says, I don't like the quarrel between both of you. Jeff explains to her and tries to descend on her. Then both father and daughter fall from the window. While getting down, Jeff recalls all moments spent with Jenny. However, he discovers later that both Jenny and he are secure. Jeff's wife had saved them. She is also gone from there because her revenge is completed after killing Samantha. It is revealed here that Samantha killed Jeff's wife because she wanted to spend her life with Jeff. But she got what she deserved. The movie ends here. Thank you for watching, and please proceed to the next movie recap shown on the screen.